Hey everybody, the bong is back. Let's beat him up, Maximum Carnage, part 3. Right now we are in the second New York streets and not in our shit through enemies, as usual. Yeah, I'll grab that full health. Okay, so let's gotta take out Rob and Jock. Very dubious gay duo name, would you agree? Jock Strap. Come on, more enemies. There we go. Suddy? What kind of name is Suddy? Suddy Day! Sweeping the clouds! Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, more skirmish of enemies. My name is Gigsy anyway. That's kind of gay. Ruddy? That's even worse. Jenny? Oh my god, that's a steroid freak there. She went to her three times in a row. Those are the ones you gotta be careful for. Okay. Who's next? What the hell? I gotta take on umbrella fags? And these guys will use their umbrellas as weapons and as a shield if you're not careful. And again, you're not really worried about the shield, you're worried about the attacks. So drop kicks are your best friend in this. Until you can get one isolated. Because often you will be attacked by the other if you focus on one. So try to take care of one and then the other. That's my theory. I don't want to lose a life here. Hey, most movies the black guy dies first anyway. I'm not trying to be racist. I'm sorry if I am, if I seem like it. You're gonna need a doctor yourself, Dr. J, if that's your real name. Okay, 73%, not too bad. Okay, you want to act like animals? Then I'll treat you like animals. From this moment on, you'll get no mercy from Spider-Man! Ruthless Monster almost maimed that man, Cloak. Exactly why Venom wants him, Cat. And we need him if we're going to defeat Carnage and his crew. The Deep, New York's newest celebrity-owned nightclub, where media heroes come to share the spotlights. But where there are heroes... There are always villains. Hey, you know that vampire we just saw in the cutscene that's Morbius? That's one of our partners, we're gonna need his help later on in the game. Okay, so we gotta beat the shit out of these guys, people here in the nightclub. Duh. Oh man, this is going to be a clusterfuck again. And be careful with this guy by the name of Kyle. These guys here in the red trench coat, they're special, you know why? They have guns. That's right, they got guns! Fucking guns! If I can get an open area to do a combo, that'd be great. Finally, an opening. Thank God. Oh, 
Okay, how do you use a power-ups anyway? Ooh, nice nightclub. Okay, you had to use the uh, R button to actually use your partner. And depending on who you're using, either Spider-Man or Venom, their attacks will be a bit different. Now let's use her again. Well, at least he, she damaged Doppelganger a good bit. Die, Demo Goblin, you Hop Goblin and Green Goblin ripoff! Okay, all that's left is Streaked now. It's one on one. I'll send you to your idol, Pikachu! That was actually a bit easy now that I got the uh, partners to help out. 53%, that's bullshit. In Brooklyn, at the ruined orphanage where Carnage grew up, the Black Cat's patience comes to an end. Okay, Spider, coming here was your idea, so what now? Carnage believes that violence is the ultimate freedom, and now that he has Shriek and the rest on his side, there may be no stopping him. But not only that, but normal people are starting to be drawn into the violence, letting their basic instincts take over. Its insanity must be cut off at its roots before it spreads. Carnage began as a spawn of our own symbiotic costume, and may still possess the same vulnerabilities, and we always found Reed Richard's sonic gun rather unpleasant. Fire hurts you, doesn't it? So why don't we go to the Fantastic Four for the sonic gun and we can recruit the Human Torch. Bad timing, the FF are out of town, but Firestar may be a good substitute. I'll go. With my teleportation abilities, I can search for her quicker than any of you. Hey, doesn't Cloak need Dagger to help him teleport? But she's gone. You may think so, but she's not completely gone. Ooh, the Fantastic Four headquarters. We need that Sonic gun. We better split up. I can't believe they're actually working together, Spider-Man and Venom. They're usually enemies. Okay, these guys are gonna be a total dick because they fly around so much. Again, drop kicking is your best friend if you're Venom. For some reason, if you're Spider-Man, the drop kick is not as good as you think it would be. Whatever. Hang on, time out. Fucking telemarketers got me again. I had to hang up on them, so that's the end of it. Hopefully, we can finish the end of this video without any interruptions. Ooh, and I should continue. Oh man, come on, leave me alone. Well, at least you can take out these guys in a single combo. But that's not the problem. The problem is there's so many. And they always seem to like get behind you while you're doing a combo. Then again, that is a smart way to fight, so... I didn't think robots had such good AI. Did I just do a Zangief move? I think I did. Ah, oh, fine, let's lose that life. Take advantage of invincibility time. Power move will be useless here because that's an earthquake attack. And these guys levitate. Oh, but at least that's over with. Ah, now we're in the lab. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a secret passage around here. Where is it? Ah, whatever, let's see that alone. Okay, yeah, I gotta remember these things hurt yet. Yeah. 
You gotta time yourself perfectly to get past that. Okay. That one's gonna be a bit tricky. Damn it! Okay, I took a bit of damage, but let's stop right there and continue this later. See ya!